what's going on guys my name is Connor and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get featured by major publications like ABC, NBC and even Forbes okay let's go right into it Alright guys, so what comes with having a feature in a major publication, okay? So a lot of people just look at it as putting your name out there a bit, having some brand awareness, but there are a couple of other benefits that a lot of people don't recognize, okay? And one of those is referral traffic. So obviously if your article is really credible, a lot of people like it, a lot of people like what you have to offer, if your offer pertains to the people reading it, they're going to click on that link to your site. And also another benefit is that link to your site, it, it is a very powerful link when it comes to giving your domain some authority and what do i mean by that having a link to your site coming from a domain that gets a lot of traffic so let's say forbes for example obviously they have a lot of articles they have a lot of credibility it helps google and other search engines rank your site as credible and it ranks your business as having authority so if you're at if you're not um the first website to come up most likely if you get featured on forbes you will be because that that link is worth a lot when it comes to giving your domain some authority okay and so i'm not gonna bullshit you guys and say that anyone can just get featured on an article you just have to message the right people or there's just like a little trick no i'm just gonna show you guys the full method that you need to use that anyone else that gets featured and uses that actually works and actually gets people on these articles okay so the first thing that you want to do is build a foundation. You don't want to hop into this with no foundation, with nothing going for you. Like I just said, you got to have something going for you. Okay. You want to have that foundation where you, where you actually have a business that's making some money. You actually have a business that is worth writing about. Um, and it does you don't have to be a business owner, but let's say that you have, that you're an athlete. You got to have some people talking about you. And the second thing that you need to do before you consider reaching out to any publishers or getting started in any of that, but don't worry, I'm going to cover that is you need to start being social. And what do I mean by that? Let's say you're using LinkedIn. You need to have a lot of connections. You need to have a big network where people already know you because that publisher, when they're considering using you as a contributor, they're going to be looking at, um, like do people, does he actually have credibility? Like do a lot of people know him? They're going to be looking at all that. And these are all the things that they consider when they're deciding, Hey, is it worth using him as a contributor? Is it, is this article actually going to do well? Are people actually going to want to read about this person? Okay. And so let's say right now you've built your foundation, you've gotten social, you've already had these connections built. Um, and, and you're ready to go. You're, you feel honestly like you're worth writing about. Okay. So what, so the mentality that I need you to have, if you actually want to get published by someone, is you need to be willing to start local and niche before you go for these big publications, okay? So being a little business where you just started, you just started to make some money, you just started being worth writing about a little bit, but compared to the big dogs, you aren't anything, people aren't gonna consider you. You're not gonna be able to compete with some of these big dogs um, that have had a name for themselves for a long time when you're just a startup or you're just an up and coming business where you just started to get a name for yourself. And so I want you to be conservative. And what I mean by that is I want you to start as someone, I want you to start going after like a local newspaper rather than Forbes. Okay. Cause that's being realistic. That's how you're going to start to be published and you're going to be able to ladder up, up to those big publishers. Okay. And how you're going to find these publishers at your level is you're going to go to a site called buzz sumo, B U Z Z S U M O U.com. And there you're going to find a bunch of articles that have been written by many um, different publishers. And you're going to be able to see the, the publishers and compare which one seems to be more easy to get into and also which one is best for your niche. Okay. So once you're there, you're going to be going through different ones and on the different articles, most likely there's going to be an email on there. And so I'm going to have you reach out to them um, and build a list, keep writing down names, keep writing down emails and just take it, take them down and figure out which ones you think would be best for you starting at a lower level, like a newspaper. That's very, very easy. And even if it was ABC, ABC is going probably going to be easier than um, a Forbes because they, t even though they're a bit higher level and they have some higher up articles, they still have a lot of articles out there that aren't from huge people. Okay. So I'd suggest being conservative and really being honest with yourself and where you think you can get published. 
So before you really reach out to that person and ask them for a favor or ask them to be a contributor, I suggest that you start off by giving them some value or giving them a compliment on previous work that they've done. So you've gone on BuzzSumo and you've seen some articles on, the, on what they've done uh, on people similar to you. Like I said previously, they have to kind of be in your niche and you have to feel like Okay, I'm at, I'm at that person's level. Like if they're going to write on that person, they're going to write on me. So I suggest that you give them a compliment. You say, hey, I read that article. It was awesome. I just want to reach out and say, like, that was awesome. Um, and they're going to respond and they're going to say thanks. Or kind of give them um, give them the compliment, but also have like something that they can respond to. Like, oh, do you have any other articles like this? And just see who responds. And you can reach out to these people on LinkedIn, email, um, Instagram, Facebook, even Twitter. And so just look these people up because obviously it's going to say who published it when you're going on BuzzSumo. All right. So you've found a publisher through a media platform or BuzzSumo that's done similar work um, with other contributors as you are. And you've messaged them. You've given value before you take. So you've complimented them on an article. Um, you've given them some value and you've honestly gotten to the point where you feel like you can ask them for something. Okay. And so this is the time where you're going to need to absolutely produce a killer pitch. And so how are you going to do this? How are you going to do this? You're going to not just rush into it and send an email right when you get that response and right when you've gotten to that point, you're going to take a day or two and you're really going to put something together and act like if this doesn't work, then this publisher is never going to talk to me again. And you're going to put together a pitch like not just like a copy paste or sort of like the article that you want written on you, but just like who you are. And you want the focus of that of that pitch to be why an article on you will do well or why it will do better than other um, people that want to be contributors. Because at the end of the day, these guys only care about whether or not that article is going to do well or not for them, whether or not it's worth their time, whether or not it's going to get that traffic. Um, not whether or not it's going to benefit you, but if it's going to make them some money, if it's going to bring a good name to them. Okay. So once you've gotten that pitch put together, I want you to reread it over and over and over again and make sure that it's good. And I suggest that you only send it one at a time. Okay. Hopefully you built that relationship with different publishers. And so you're going to want to send it to one person and see what their reaction is to it, especially if it's your first time um presenting that pitch just see how they react to it if they, if you go a few days and they don't give you a response or if they go a week then you know it wasn't that good or they didn't see it but chances are it wasn't that good because you were already communicating with them before okay so if that doesn't work try to tweak it a little bit try to look at things that you could fix okay and once you've done that send it to another person and then send it to another person and keep getting this feedback and figuring out whether or not the pitch is good or not because sometimes it won't be you and your business. It will strictly be your pitch and it, you, you're not um, portraying the value um, and how well you think your article is actually going to do. Repeat this process as many times as you have to, but I promise you it will work. If you're not getting accepted or you're not getting any interest at all, then that just means that you're not presenting yourself well. It's not really a question of whether or not your business is good. It's more a question of if you're portraying the value enough. So if you just repeat this process and you send it to enough people and you're consistent, you don't give up and you don't just take a couple people not responding to you and just give up. I promise you it will work. You finally built that relationship far enough with that publisher where you've been featured on their site. Okay. So now you can go ahead and go on Google and search yourself up as many times as you want. But after that, after that satisfaction isn't as strong as it was at the beginning, I suggest that you take the focus away that you had going towards the publication and you bring that um, energy and effort into your business. Okay. And what do I mean by that? I suggest that before you go up the ladder with these publishers, I suggest that you go up the ladder with your business. Okay. So compare yourself, compare yourself to the businesses that are on ABC, NBC and all that. And then compare yourself with Forbes and entrepreneur and all them. And once you feel like you're honestly at that caliber, then go ahead and reach out to them. Use the same strategy, the same pitch, but you're going to be already more credible. And you're already going to have a bigger foundation, a stronger foundation. I mean, and you're going to have a bigger social network and it's just going to be a lot easier for these people to consider you. But starting off, let's say that you have a brand new startup. These guys are not going to consider you up there. So, Hopefully you gained some value out of this video. If you guys have any questions at all, 
please reach out to me on Instagram at Connor Langley. I, I recently changed my Instagram name. Um, and let me know any questions that you have. I respond through DM every single day, pretty much. If I don't, then I'll get to you the next day. But please, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. And just let me know what you honestly think of this video, okay? So I've been changing things around. I've been doing a bit more editing. I've been um, changing where I take my videos and I've kind of changed like what I'm doing my videos on. So if you guys can give me some feedback, whether it's good or bad, I appreciate it all. It would mean a lot. And until the next video, I'll see you there.